so hi hello everyone uh, nice to meet you all so now what's the time now so we are facing a exam we are facing the public exam for 10th standard 11th standard and 12th standard students we are facing yes yes so now i am going to share about 10th standard english so how you are going to present a paper how you are going to present a paper how you will get good marks how you will get sent in in english so these tips i am going to give for you so make use this and get your sent in and get your good result and get your good marks dears yes so english english is the language as we know that english is a language so easier language is english but some word rules and regulations we have to follow yes so uh, i think you have all already prepared for your exam yes so now i am going to give some tips and tricks for you how to get a sentem yes so now i am going to tell about so what is the pattern of english what is the pattern of english question paper they are asking and how you have to write and how you have to write the exam so what are the things you have to mention in your paper that i am going to tell for you so make use this and get a good mark yes so first thing first thing you have to write the exam paper as a neat manner neat manner and the next thing is a legible handwriting so first i am going to tell about the basic instruction then we will move on here okay va wow. so basic instruction so legible handwriting is most important okay va wow. next thing while you are writing the answer don't overwrite if you are written the answer as a wrong way you just strike out the you just strike out the answer and you write it it was cancelled by me it was cancelled by me so this is the second one third thing don't write excess words don't write excess words or excess questions if they asked three questions or no you have to write three questions alone don't write four or five questions it was lose your mark so don't write like this once again legible handwriting don't write excess questions okay but don't write excess questions and what are the instruction they are given you have to follow so before all this you have done first of all you have to read the question once or twice you have to read the question after that only you can attend all the question as a easier way yes shall we move on now yes so first one if you read the question after that first one you have to know so we are having in this uh, english question paper we are having four four comprises we are having four parts we are having so what are they means part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 so these four kinds we are having so according to this part 1 part 1 first one synonyms and antonyms so first second third question and four five six for antonyms they are asking so how you have to write this up now so first you have to learn the glossary part okay well first you have to learn the glossary part synonyms and the antonyms then you have to read the lesson then you have to read the lesson where when the new words come in you have to find out the meaning with the uh, uh, dictionary with the help of dictionary you have to learn this synonyms and antonyms so you don't worry first first part 14 question they will give a option for you so you have to choose the apt answer and you have to write okay va well, so synonyms and antonyms you have to concentrate on the glossary part as well as read the lesson okay so next thing affixes what is mean by affixes or not so prefixes and suffixes what is mean by prefix prefix means it it comes the yes yeah, beginning of the word or ending of the word 
we call this as a prefix and suffixes okay va next thing we are having plural form plural form is so for example boy means it's a one so more than two boys if you are saying you know so you have to boys so this we call as a plural form okay va so the next thing abbreviation and acronyms abbreviation and acronyms abbreviation for example who who you know world health organization world health organization cpu central processing unit so like this you have to learn all this abbreviation and acronyms you don't worry they will give you option for you next thing phrasal verbs next thing phrasal verbs phrasal verb somewhat students you are feeling it's very difficult but you don't worry when you learnt the meaning when you learnt the meaning you can easily identify the phrasal verbs okay va so first of all you have to learn the meaning for the word phrasal verbs yes and the next thing compound word compound word you don't worry about this compound word it was very very easy yeah? but this compound word they will ask uh, two types of question okay va well, so the first one how they ask means so for example walking walking if they ask in the choose the compound word for the uh, walking so that's why they will ask a question means in the option they will give stick b option c option d option they will give so walking so which is suitable answer walking stick okay so that's why they will ask for your compound word okay and the next thing second type how they ask you no know, so you have to know the parts of speech parts of speech noun verb what is mean by noun what is mean by verb what is mean by noun noun means naming word verb means action word okay va so, uh, gerund means ing so the verb plus ing we call this as a gerund okay va for example how they ask the question for you dancing bird dancing bird so here dancing is a verb dancing is a verb dance plus ing is coming so verb plus ing means that is gerund okay va bird as a noun so verb plus noun verb plus noun we call this as a compound word okay va wow. yes uh, and the next one preposition so next one they ask a question between they ask they question like preposition what is mean by preposition it placed before a noun it placed before a noun means we call this as a preposition we call this as a preposition linkers what is mean by linkers linkers means we can connect the words we can connect the sentences that we call this as a linkers tenses the most most important in tenses what is mean by tenses it shows it shows or in, it indicates the time of the action when it occurs when it occurs so that we call as a tenses that we call as a tenses yes dears so part 1 we are having as a 14 the part 1 we are having as a 14 question in this 14 question they will ask they will ask optional type only don't worry read the question and select the suitable answer okay va well, and then one thing i want to say while you are writing the answer for example i am saying for synonyms if you are writing the answer as a trouble if you are writing the answer as a trouble now so you have to write the answer first number 1 number 1 trouble and then you have to write the option which one a suppose if they are given as a a trouble you know so you have to write a trouble a option okay va so that's like you have to write this 14 14 questions shall we move on next one next one part 2 part 2 section 1 part 2 section 1 so that is prose question answer prose question answer you don't worry read the question and then you have to write the answer for this prose okay va and then poem appreciation poem appreciation so for poem appreciation they will give you a poetic lines for you they will give you a poetic lines and they ask the a b question so using the poetic lines you have to 
find out. You have to find out and you have to write hope appreciation questions. So, so these are all we can get uh, good marks, we can get full marks for this poem appreciation. Why means, so we, if we are going to write A, B option type as a single line only. So it is very easier for the, for getting good marks. And the next important thing is section 3 grammar part, section 3 grammar part. So grammar means first you have to learn the rules, that's all. First you have to learn the rules. So for grammar you are having active voice, passive voice, direct, indirect, simple compound complex, punctuation, okay, wow, punctuation you are having and then you are having the rearrange the sentence, rearrange the sentence you are having. So among this five you have to write AD3, okay, wow. if you are well versed in active and passive voice, no, attend the question. Punctuation you must attend. Okay, well for punctuation what we have to study? So you have to read the lesson. Okay, well you have to read the lesson, read the supplementary part. Okay, well so if you are read that means it will help you to get two marks in punctuation. Okay, well and rearrange the sentence. You know that for example my name is that you are saying your name. So name my is. So that is wrong. That is wrong. So that we call as a rearrange the sentences. That we call as a rearranging the sentences. Okay. Well, so rearranging the sentences and then active voice and passive voice. You don't worry about this active voice and passive voice. You have to know the rules and regulations. You have to know the rules and regulations. If you study the rules and regulations for this grammar, it was very useful. You will get six marks in this. Attend punctuation question. Okay, attend punctuation question. Rearrange the question. For simple compound complex rules. Okay, well for simple compound complex also, you have to learn the rules. Okay, well, which type of tenses they are giving for active voice and passive voice, which type of tenses, well, whether they are given as a present tense, whether they are given as a present tense or past tense or future tense, what kind of tenses they are given, first you have to know. For active and passive voice means you have to remind only one thing, so that you have to add by while you are, while you are changing into passive voice you have to add by. So this was done by me, this was done by me. So that we call this as a active and passive voice, active and passive voice. If you know the rules, you can get a marks. In grammar, grammar, punctuation, you attend the question of punctuation and then you attend the rearrange the sentence and then one more simple compound complex or active voice and passive voice you can attend. Okay. And the next one, easier one, road map. Road map. What is meant by road map? Road map. What is meant by road map? So if you are moving to one place, if you are moving to unknown place means, so what you will ask? You will ask the address to any other person. So how we have to move on here? So like this, here also a road map, they will ask a question, okay, well. so you have to tell the route, you have to tell the route, walk straight, turn left, turn right, okay, well. walk along the pathway, walk along the straight road, reach the main road, so that like you have to write for the road map, okay, well. road map. The next one, section, part 3, section 1, paragraph. Prose paragraph. So most of the students you are having the doubt on how you have to write the paragraph. Nothing but paragraph while you are writing the paragraph you have to first read the question. Related to the question you have to find out the theme and moral. Okay, well what is the theme of the story? What is the theme of the lesson? So that you have to find out and you have to find out the moral. 
okay va so at least one or one and of page you have to write one and of page you have to write without grammatical mistake okay va without grammatical mistake you have to write the prose paragraph prose paragraph you have to write okay va so for prose paragraph you can use some quotes also related to the lesson related to the lesson you have you also add some pro uh, quotes okay va and the next one section 2 poem paragraph while you are writing the poem paragraph the same thing you have to follow as well as the prose paragraph but here you can use some poetic lines okay va some poetic lines you can use so for example you are having the secret of the machine the secret of the machine poem you are having by rudyard kipling so for rudyard kipling you have to write first the author introduction as three lines then you move on to the paragraph okay well then you have move on to the paragraph how you have to write so insert insert you have to you for write the poetic lines insert you have to write the poetic lines if you write the poetic lines you, know, you can get more marks in paragraph that's why i'm telling okay and then poetic devices and then poetic devices we as we know that alliteration rhyme scheme rhyming word uh, or plus figure of speech that's we call as a poetic devices okay well, what is mean by alliteration alliteration means at the beginning of the word of the letter so that we call as a alliteration rhyming word the same pronunciation the same pronunciation pronunciation we call this as a rhyming word rhyme scheme so like this same pronunciation we are using a b or b a or c b okay va so like this what the poetic lines they are given so that you have to find out and the most important thing you have to find out the last line of the word you have to find out the last line of the word okay va and then paraphrase paraphrase they will give four lines or three lines for you so in this paraphrase what you have to write in this paraphrase what you have to write i'm not so you have to write the author introduction about the poet this line is taken from the poem secret of the machine by rudyard kipling so and then you have to write the uh, meaning for the lines meaning for the lines meaning for the given lines okay what the lines they are given so you have to write this as a paraphrase okay va yes and the next one section 3 coherent order so coherent order nothing but it was it, it will come under the supplementary part it will come under the supplementary part so coherent order coherent order what is mean by coherent order so sometimes they will ask a cogent order or sometimes rearrange the sentences so nothing but so the story part they will give us a jumbled sentence so you have to read that and you have to write in the correct order you have to write in the correct order so for this you have to learn the supplementary part supplementary story part if you know means you can easily score this mark here next one and then section 4 so this is most important 20 marks easily we can get 20 marks so the first one is advertisement the first one is advertisement what is mean by advertisement you know that so for example if you want to uh, buy your one new mobile phone or new dress means so how you will uh, appear how you will attract because of the advertisement because of the advertisement so like this you have to uh, write the advertisement you have to prepare some advertisement how you have to prepare no? so they will give some hints for you they will give some hints for you so using that hints you have to put a square shape box in the box only you have to write so what is in the box you have to write now description title address images and then discount all those things inside the box only so if they are given the hints okay by using that hints you have to prepare a advertisement okay ma and then letter writing and then letter writing so letter writing what is mean by letter writing 
So, in this letter writing, we are having two things formal letter and informal letter. Yes. So, for formal letter, for formal letter, what you have to write? What you have to write? What is the content? What is the content they are given? So, you read it and then you have to write from address date to address respected principal or sir or madam and then you have to write the subject. So, for what content they are given? For example, if you are asking permission for taking leave, no? for subject you have to uh, write the asking leave. Okay, well, and then content. Left side you have to write thank you. Thank you, you was obediently or you was faithfully and you were name. So, no, if they are given the name in the question itself means you can use the same name. Or otherwise you put just XXX. No need to write your name. No need to write your name. Okay. Va? And the next one is notice. Notice writing. Notice writing how you have to write means. So you have to put the box first one. Okay. Va? First read the question and put the box. And then you have to write notice in the caps. Okay. Va? And then in the next line, next line you have to write about um, the uh, school name. Okay, wa? notice school name you have to write and what the competition and the left side and the left side you have to write date. Left side. So please don't write 2011 2022. That's like don't write please. 20th April 2022. Okay, well, and then you have to write the content. This is informed to the students as our school has planned some uh, cultural competition. So, like this, you have to write the content what they are asking the question. Okay, well, and the next here in the downside, what you have to write means so, who is telling this? For example, the school people leader giving the notice, or otherwise, as a principal or president or uh, cultural secretary so who is given this notice now so that you have to write here cultural secretary and the name was given in the question itself so the same name you have to write okay well. and then email writing email writing you know so how you have to write the email writing so you have to put the box like this from to okay well. from to and the subject and then here down with records with the records that's all the next one is slogan writing slogan writing so you have to write for example ice cream if they are given ice cream write a slogan for this no you have to write ice melts ice melts so like this attractive slogan you have to write it okay well. and then picture comprehension picture comprehension picture comprehension so they will give one picture so what do you observe from the picture you have to write as a six or seven points you have to write without grammatical mistake what do you understood from the picture so that you have to write and then is note making and then is note making note making nothing but note making so you have to read the question first note making or summary writing of the following passage you know? so first you have to write the title if they ask the question as a summary writing you know you have to write as a title so they given as a one paragraph so read the paragraph once or twice read the paragraph once or twice okay well, once or twice read the paragraph and then which title is suitable for this para so first you have to write the title and the next one rough copy rough copy or rough draft okay well. and then you have to write from the given passage some important points you have to write here okay well. right here and the most 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 important is while we are writing the rough copy after finishing the rough copy left to right you have to strike out left from left to right you have to strike out like this okay well. and the next one you have to write the fair copy so what is the given passage they are given 
so which are most most important points you understood so that you have to write on the fair copy okay va don't strike out the fair copy you just strike out only rough copy alone rough copy alone you have to strike out okay va yes and then first one title rough copy fair copy okay va and the last number of words given in the passage number of words given in the passage so words you have to count and write and the next one number of words written in the fair copy number of words written in the fair copy okay ma so you you, you already written the fair copy no ma so among this fair copy you have to count the words and write that's all okay ma and the next one is for the error and the next one is for the error so the sentences the sent five sentences they will give for you so which one is error which one is error you have to find out and write this okay va so this is section 4 is clear i think next is section 5 section 5 memory poem so memory poem from which one they are asking to which completed so that you have to write for this memory poem okay va so memory poem study well so you can get five mark from this memory poem okay and the next last one hints developing hints developing no? so they will give a story as a hint for you using that hints you have to write using that hints you have to write at least one or one and of page you have to write okay va well? and the next one comprehension comprehension they will ask a prose comprehension or poem comprehension prose comprehension or poem comprehension they will give a passage for you so read the passage in below they will ask a question four or five questions related to the para related to the para they will ask read the para and which answer is suitable for this question you have to write so like the same way poem comprehension prose or poem comprehension you better attend this prose comprehension whether you know the poem comprehension you can attend or otherwise you just attend the prose comprehension okay va so totally we are getting us a uh, 100 more okay va so now i shared about some tips and tricks for you how you have to write the english exam how you have to write english exam yes i think it is very useful for you so follow this and get good marks in english okay thank you all the best viewers